News 8 News Now at 5. A gun instructor died after an accidental shooting at a range in Arizona. The tragedy is getting international attention because the person who fired the fatal shot was a nine-year-old girl. She was there with her family trying out an Uzi. And the accident happened yesterday morning in White Hills, Arizona, and 8 News Now has obtained video of the session just before the victim was killed. Our Aaron Drawhorn is there live. He spoke with the gun range's operator, Aaron. Dave and Paula, Arizona last stop is about 27 miles from the Hoover Dam. It's a place that's famous for its burgers. A lot of Nevadans come here for lottery tickets. Next door, though, we have the burgers or bullets and burgers gun range. Uh, and this is where a gun instructor lost his life. Moments ago, we obtained cell phone video of the instruction. It's not going to show anything graphic at all. But this is a key piece of evidence in this case. Go ahead and take a look. This was released by the Mojave County Sheriff's Department in Arizona. Uh, this video shows 39-year-old instructor Charlie Vaca showing the 9-year-old girl how to use the gun. Uh, the accident happened yesterday morning around 10 o'clock. Uh, the 9-year-old girl and her family were tourists, we're told, from the northeastern part of the country, and they stopped here at the gun range. Uh, Vaca was the family's instructor. He was standing next to the girl. He was teaching her how to use the automatic Uzi. Uh, Vaca was shot after the nine-year-old girl lost control of the weapon. Investigators say the recoil sent the Uzi over her head. The operator of the range here says they've never had any type of incident here, or injury or death or at their Lake Havasu range, which has been open for 12 years. He says safety is always stressed with each and every client. Really don't know what happened. I mean, our guys are trained to, to basically hover over people when they're shooting. And, uh, you know, if they're shooting right handed, we have our right hand behind them ready to push the weapon out of the way. And if they're left handed, the same thing. The staff here is grieving today, but they're also remembering the man who lost his life. Vaca was well-liked, a veteran, a loving husband who called Lake Havasu City home. He died last night at UMC in Las Vegas. Uh, the range has been open at Arizona Last Stop for a couple of years. This is promotional video off the internet. Uh, shooting high-powered weapons continues to be a very popular hobby with lots of tourists, both in Nevada and here in Arizona. In Nevada and and in Arizona, uh, we're told that it's up to the range to decide if a particular miner can shoot a particular weapon. Investigators say no laws were broken in this case, uh, but the uh, gun range here has already changed its procedures after yesterday's tragedy. For one, they say shooters will now have to be at least five feet tall and over the age of 12. Uh, the folks here today not only are thinking about their fallen friend, but they're also thinking about that nine-year-old girl and the horror that she is dealing with after this incident yesterday. We are live in Mojave County, Arizona. Aaron Drawhorn, 8 News Now. Held in. Otherwise the gun won't fire, okay? Okay, turn your, this leg forward. There you go, just like that. Alright, go ahead and give me one shot. Alright. Alright, full out of 